Welcome to Around BI. This is part 2 of understanding merge dimensions. In part 1 tutorial, we have discussed what is merge dimensions, why do we need merge dimensions and how we can create one. We also talked about auto merge concept, incompatible object situation where we cannot drop objects from one query to report block and a solution to resolve incompatibility issue. In this tutorial, we will talk about extend merge dimension, force merge and calculation at different aggregation level. We will use same sample example for the company that pays salary and stipend to its employees. Employees A to F are getting salary and employee D to H are getting stipend. We have employees D, E and F who are getting both salary and stipend. We have our test web report that has two queries, query 1 for salary and query 2 for stipend. On the report side, we have created a merge dimension on employee EMP merged. Let's start from there. We have three employee objects, EMP merged and employee objects from query 1 and query 2 that are part of merge dimension. Let's pull all three objects and check the differences. EMP merged that has values coming from both queries, while objects from query 1 and query 2 have respective query values. I can pull salary and stipend object that are coming from different data provider and can add to merged object. I can see value coming from both queries. If I add these objects to employee object from query 1, I can see only those employees that are from query 1. Business object provides an option to extend values of merge dimension to all dimensions that are part of merge dimension. That means if we choose to extend merge dimension value, values of any employee object that is part of merge employee dimension and merge dimension itself will be same. To opt that option, we will have document open in design mode. We will click properties tab in left pane and click document. In the document summary dialog box, we will check extend merge dimension value. We can see here that though we have used employee object from query 1, this object is returning the value of its own query plus the values of employee dimension of other data provider. We have extended merge dimension value to all participating dimensions. Using extend merge has a big restriction also as it works only when dimensions that are part of merge dimension are selected in the table block. If I use any unmerged object, let's add state from query 1, result will be restricted to only that query and that puts a big question mark on usability of this feature. Anyway, moving to our next topic that is force merge function. Why do we need force merge? We have two queries in this report and employee object is merged from both queries. In my first query, I have state object. If I pull employee and state to a table block, it shows each employee from query 1 along with a respective state. Let's add our measure objects, salary from query 1 and stipend from query 2. Now it becomes more interesting if I want to see what is salary and stipend amount for each state. That means I will remove employee object from the block and keep state that is a non merge dimension. Let's see here. I will remove employee. Salary amount looks good to me. It is summed up per state. But what happened to stipend values? Why it is showing 420 for each state? Because by default, calculations do not account for merge dimensions if the merge dimension do not explicitly appear in the calculation context. The merge dimension EMP merged or dimensions that are part of merge dimension are not used in table. So they do not influence the calculation of the stipend object. The sum of all stipend amount in the second data provider appears against each state. To display the correct result, we need to force merge stipend object. We will use force merge function with stipend object as parameter. Here is our formula. We can see that the relationship between employee and state now impacts the calculation of the stipend object. While using merge dimension, we need to be cautious with combination of objects used and level of required details. A measure object can be synchronized successfully only to the lowest level of detail that is common between two different data providers. If we have a query with country and state object and other query with country and sales revenue, we can merge country object and can see the revenue to the country level. The synchronized block is only able to display data at the country level. 
that is the lowest level of common detail between the two data providers, not up to the state level. Please note that we can synchronize data providers with different aggregation levels, but this can have consequences for the calculation of measures. We have one query that is showing employee, state and salary and second query is for state and number of counties in that state. We want to synchronize data and have merged on common dimension state. If I create a report block with state, employees and salary, here is output. Let's add number of county in that from query 2. It looks good that for state California we have 15 counties. But 15 is reflecting for all rows. If I put a break on state and see the sum of measure, it shows incorrect result. It is showing 15 for each row, so it summed up 45. What I mean to show is that we must be aware of any situation where it is not possible to aggregate the data to the necessary level of detail. With this, I will end this tutorial. Please share your feedback and comments with us. Thanks for watching.